two of day one, first round action at the Pac-12 tournament, presented by New York Life. The 12-5 matchup, the 12th seed Cal Bears, the red hot Washington State Cougars, six straight wins for Wazoo, a long list of injuries, which Cal has lost over 100 scholarship man games to injuries this year, and Muhammad Gay gets it going early for the Cougs. Muhammad Gay is a pro. Umar Bala won most improved, but if I had a vote, which I didn't. Oh. As T.J. Bamba goes inside and Muhammad Gay cleans it up, I probably would have voted for T.J. Bamba. Cal has wanted a lower possession game, so they walk it up. They don't really go early clock ever. Seems like that's a strategy here today if Bamba knocks down the three. An early timeout for Mark Fox, and it's 7-2. Washington State, T.J. Bamba from long range for the Cougars. Uh, it's a matter of time, you would think, before Washington State gets hot from behind the line. We talked about him. Bamba, one of the most improved players in the league. Washington State up early. D.J. Rodman attacks. The reverse and one. How about the finish from D.J. Rodman? Used the basket as a shield, goes to the other side, reverse, gets hit in the head. Watch Wilson clear it out for him. That's a left tackle yeah, that protecting guy, his quarterback. Yeah, that guy will clear some running lanes for you. There's a rumor floating around that DJ Rodman might be joining us on the set later in the week for some TV work. He's hoping he doesn't because that means he's still. That's right. He might still do it even if they're winning. Why not? Kwani Kwani runs over. Jack Wilson and the charge on Kwani. Now, I'm not necessarily sure Kwani Kwani could pull over Jack Wilson, yeah. but he threw the charge. So if you knock Jack Wilson over, is that a flap? Is that a flop on Jack Wilson? <laughs> right? Because you can't knock him down. So if he falls down, that must have meant he flopped. It's very impressive for an offensive lineman to come out here, and not just with the endurance, but what stands out to me is the footwork, guys. I mean, it takes a lot of athleticism and dexterity to move up and down the floor, and when you've got this much muscle behind you, it's certainly a sight to see. Well, and you also wonder, Jordan, what the effect of him being in the paint is. Like, if I'm thinking about driving it as Rodman gets the offensive foul, if I'm thinking about driving and sit, standing right in front of me as that guy, Jack Wilson, I'm probably thinking about pulling up and not getting all the way into the paint. Charge here on Opina Anyawu of Cal. And it goes over to Washington State as DJ Rodman draws the charge. And <laughs> Lars Tiemann underneath. Denied by Muhammad Gay. What a recovery by Gay. Thought that was going to be an easy layup for Tiemann. <laughs> DJ Rodman launching a three. And stops the bleeding there. Cal making a run. Rodman pushes it back out to six. Second three for the Cougars. Sam Alajiki drives. And offensive foul. The second charge that DJ Rodman has drawn already in this game. This one on Sam Alajiki. Rodman just affects winning, but so does Muhammad Gay. The recovery send it back. Washington State up six. Kyle Smith done an unbelievable job since he's been on the Palouse. They started off slow. You just wonder if they didn't have, they weren't missing guys early in the year, had won some of those close games, the position they'd be in right now, but he has recruited. They've won. Conference record has been improved the last couple years, but has done a great job since being hired four years ago. Freshman Kamani Winsu spins and drops it in. For Washington State to be good, I don't think he needs to be more of a wing, but at the next level, he will be. Kamani wins through a terrific defensive play. Andre Yakimovsky, the driving dish. You can see how hard Cal's closing out to the line. Pull up. Justin see, Powell. That, that's a count. 
pull it down, rip it through, one dribble pull. That, that's that been the thing. Like, Kwani Kwani's guarding two guards. Like, he's not a two guard, but because they don't have anybody else, he's being asked to guard other guys. What happens with that? Kwani's been in foul trouble a lot this year. So, guys playing out of position. We've seen this from Cal all year. You think they're just going to quit on it because the record's not great, and they just hang around and keep playing. Jay Mullins nails a three, just a third three for the Cougars. We were speaking about guys playing out of position. You know, Powell's a two guard, but has been asked to play the point guard because Miles Rice couldn't play this year. And so Powell's been out of position most of the season. Has, has gotten better in that position, but not his natural position, that point guard. Nice cut. And the lay in DJ Rodman. Every time somebody is back cut today, they've gotten a layup. Good to see Yakubowski back out there, minus a tooth. I think he saw Dennis at halftime. Get that fixed later. Well, he picked up the tooth, and I think he put it back in his mouth. Off the floor. Roxy, you can't just put a tooth back in your well, mouth once you it can, gets knocked out. You can try to shove it back in. What? There's Andre Yakubowski hits a three. One issue that's come up this year for Cal too, Roxy, is they get down, but because the, the way they play, that you know they're playing a low possession game, it's hard to make big runs. Cal knocks down the three to get back in games when they get down double digits. Again, I keep going back to this, and sometimes over the course of years, it's it's a little bit of lip service in terms of oh well, they're not winning, but they're playing hard. Cal has played hard every time I have seen them. Talk about Craig Smith in year two starting to stack seasons and starting to improve. It's how you do it. And definitely a monster improvement from last year to this year for Utah. Muhammad Kane, a throw down and a great adjustment on the pass that was behind him. That was a big time play by Muhammad Gay. When do you have anything left for the final? Jay Mullins takes it to the basket. Kyle picking up the tempo here a little bit, not content to walk it up, obviously. Down. Jeff Wilson challenges, and Kwani's like, hey, man, I ran into a brick wall. Jay Mullins, three. Mullins, who's second in the Pac-12, 42% on his threes. Andre Yakimovsky ends the Cal run. Yeah, I needed that if you're Washington State. You don't want any undue pressure here to close this one. And if I'm Washington State right now, I'm shortening this game. I'm using a lot of clock and just manage this thing down to the end. Nice pass by Powell to Muhammad Gay and one. Or go early in the clock and get an and one. <laughs> Double figures now for Muhammad Gay with 10. But what a sweet feed from Justin Powell. Again, Gay moving without the ball. Gets an easy one. T.J. Bamba, three. Well, that should probably do it there. That pushes it back to 15. We're under three. Breaking the press. T.J. Bamba attacks and glides in. That was smooth from T.J. Bamba. I thought he was going to turn that over. That would have been spectacular. Take it all the way down, and the Cougars advance. Washington State, Oregon tomorrow. And mercifully for Cal, the season comes to an end. Cal finishes the year at 3-29. and And their last win was against Stanford on January 6th. As Washington State now, seven consecutive wins. And they're in the quarters with a play Oregon tomorrow at 2.30. Did what they had to do. Somewhat of a low-stress game for Washington State. So they should be mentally and physically ready to go tomorrow.